We're in South Auckland today to get together to support Tanika Alatini for her fundraiser to head to Thailand for the Miss Face of Beauty International pageant. Stand by to find out more next. You're watching Mary TV. Face of Beauty International presents world-class pageants for young women between 14 and 19 years of age from around the world. Its existence is based on developing young leaders and contributing towards our society. Face of Beauty International is a new brand of beauty pageants that appreciates fashion and design, performing arts and tourism from around the world. Therefore, Face of Beauty International aims to enhance performing arts and fashion shows nationally and internationally. Tanika Alatini has to be commended for putting this fundraiser on herself with the help of a lot of friends and family offering their time. She's not waiting around for a handout from her parents or to win the lotto. This fundraiser shows she's doing it for herself and this is something we as New Zealanders need to encourage more of. This year, the Miss Teen Face of Beauty pageant is held in Thailand between the 11th and 22nd of December. So we're here enjoying the festivities from the from the fundraiser. It's very difficult to get any serious action out of Mrs. Alatini today. Why are you? Well, tell us about what what what's what does this mean for you? I mean, you're such a proud mum. This is such a huge event for Tanika. Talk to me. Well, to be honest with you, I am a proud mother. I have three beautiful children inside and out who I would do absolutely anything for. But um, you know, the fact that Tanika could be motivated and put something on herself that will help her to get overseas to represent herself, her family and her country. I'm just stoked. Um, when it comes to pageantry world, I haven't had so much to do with them other than be a judge and um, I'm getting a whole new insight into that and, and I really want to encourage women and men of all ages, all shapes and sizes that let's break the stereotype, let's break that barrier and let's celebrate Beauty, not just outer stereotypical beauty, we all are beautiful people. So Tanika entering these pageants, have, she's actually helped open my eyes. Mama Barbs, the proud grandmother, your granddaughter, the oldest granddaughter. Tell me about how you're feeling right now. At the moment, I feel like I need to take her place <laughs> in the circle of life. Do you really? Really, I mean, I think you probably could. I think you probably could. But it doesn't matter. It's not about me. It's about my offsprings. And I'm very blessed to say God gifted me with wonderful souls. And if she can go and make New Zealand, Tonga, Africa proud within the whole wide world, you go girl. Go girl. Nice to talk to you, mummy. Nice to talk Love to you. you. I, think, I think the beauty of it is that it's not just about the stereotypical pageants. I mean, you and I were involved with hosting Diversity Oceania, which again was not just about what you look like or how small you were, how tall you were. It's the cultural side of things. It's what makes you as a person, and that hopefully emulates and shines out. Natia, you're here, fundraiser 148. Tell us why you're here. I'm here to like uh, support Tanika, and it's all about the youth, because the youth of today is all about what we will be tomorrow. So if we don't invest in today... The fact that you're a school teacher is a little bit... Absolutely. a little bit... <laughs> you weren't supposed to say no, that. I wasn't supposed to say that. I won't tell you what school, though. Absolutely. I won't tell you what but school. if we invest in today, then tomorrow will be a better place. Absolutely. Yeah, I've talked to Tanika already today, and it was about... Peter's involvement as a former All Black, your involvement in the entertainment world in New Zealand, and her aim is just to be the best that she can be with influences like yourself, your mother, your family, Peter's family. That must be pretty special. It is pretty special because I feel like we've somehow raised a really well all rounded young woman, and that just makes my heart bleed for all the right reasons. And if we had a small part in that, then yay us! Um, you know, we love entertainment, we love making other people feel good, and if this is Tanika's way of helping bring that out, where she's making, she's feeling better about herself doing these things, and in turn encouraging others to be a part of it, and if it means that we're all in life, 
we'll just be the best that we can be. There's nothing else you can ask for, and I think that's that's awesome. That's and do you think beauty pageants are, are a good thing for image, or are you? Do you think they're but what's your view on actual beauty pageants, which is why Tanika's fundraising, sure. of course? Uh, beauty page pageants, I see as it's all about confidence building and it's all about the morale of our younger generation. Um, in all honesty, we are, well, the younger generation are actually perceived as something different from what we were all brought up with. So, you know, in all, in all honesty, if you can portray that positive attitude and the positive uh, morale about it, I'm all for it. All for it's, it. It's, it's all positive. Absolutely. Thumbs up. Yes. Thumbs up from Natia. Yes. Thank it's you, all Charlie. about our positive. It's all about our, our future generation and how they will shape our world today. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Thanks very much. That's Thanks. a wrap. And when are we, will we ever see you in a pageant? Will there ever be an opportunity that maybe the, the mummies come out to say hello to the catwalk? <laughs> Funny you should say that actually because I feel if there are one group of people yeah. that are a little bit left out of things, it is us mummers. And there are so many yummy mummies in this world. So I think that's going to be You're nice. definitely one of them. Yeah. Oh, thank you darling, I'll pay you later. She's paying me to say that, by the way. But on a serious note, I absolutely want to create a pageant, a competition where we celebrate womanhood, motherhood, because quite often we put our goals, our aspirations aside once we've had children, and I can understand that I've done it myself. But I see women and mums all the time who do amazing things. And I think, you know what, if they can be out on stage and just represent who they are and where they've come and how far they've come, then let's do it. Let's do it. I think next year is going to be a big year. I won't enter, of course. <laughs> you know, we, we don't want to be unfair. No, I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> nice to talk to you. You Love should be, you you're very, you. very, I mean, you know you're like family to me, so I'm being a bit biased, but you should be very proud because your daughter is one in a million, really. Thank you so much, Mary. And I do want to say wow. to you, darling, you're doing incredible things. You are allowing these things to be broadcast online, on telly, on social networks, and without that type of support and encouragement, these things won't be possible and they won't be successful. So for all that you do in our community and the entertainment field, thank you so much. We love you dearly. Tanika, we're here for your fundraiser, celebrating and raising money for you to go where? Tell us about what we're doing, what you're doing. Well, uh, on the 11th of December, I'm going to Thailand to represent Miss Tonga at the International Miss Face of Beauty team competition. Tell us why you've got involved with a competition like this. I know uh, a little while ago, your mother and I were involved with Diversity Oceania. Has that inspired you? You've got the you've got the pageant bug. You're ready to go again. Yeah, I definitely think I have more of a passion for it now that I know that there's all these diverse pageants that celebrates diversity and different cultures. So I definitely think that I would love to do things like this, especially things that aren't you know about the stereotypical look. It's all about beauty and what you bring to the table. So I love that. So what makes you you're representing Tonga on an international scale? 50 models, 50 representatives from around the world, why would they choose you as Miss Teen Beauty? Well, I like to think that I have a nice personality and I'd really love that to shine through. I also want them to know that, you know, South Auckland is a good place, good people come from here and I just want um, people in South Auckland to know that we can go far as well, so I hope that that shines through in my performance. I mean, obviously because you've got parents that have got profile, a former rugby uh, All Black playing dad who's in Japan, He's not able to be here today. I know he would really love to be here, but can't be. What would the message be that you would want your dad to see from out of today and the, the organization of an event like this? Yeah, well, I just want my dad to know that I'm doing this not only for me, but also for him. I'm representing you know, his homeland, and I just want to make him proud with everything that I do. So, Daddy, this is for you. Yeah, yeah cool. And of course, we can't go far without mentioning Mummy, because you know her and I are very good friends, and she'd kill me if I didn't. Megan's involvement with the entertainment world and um, with New Zealand uh, t television and music and stuff. This has inspired some of why we've decided to have an event like this here. Yes, today. Yes, definitely. I think um, you know all our achievements definitely inspires me to go hard, and I never want to let that you know let her down. But just you know bring it higher. So I definitely think that all of this inspires me to you know go hard out. And thank you, Mum, for helping me so much and setting such a high standard because that just makes me you know want to try even harder. Of course, of course. Well, we wish you all the very best in Thailand, and. Um, I'm sure you're going to come out pretty good when you get there. 
I think I think the beauty of it is that it's not just about the stereotypical pageants. I mean, you and I were involved with hosting Diversity Oceania, which again was not just about what you look like or exactly. how small you were, how tall you were. It's the cultural side of things. It's what makes you as a person and that hopefully emulates and shines out. And like you say, you know, um, who really put pageants in that box? There, there may be a group of people, it might have been one person. That's not to say that that's wrong, but how about we present it in a whole other light? I love people of all different shapes and sizes, cultures, background, and if we can put that on the stage and celebrate that, great. Is it, do you think pageant and how people perceive pageants in New Zealand is changing? I mean, I know tanika has got to go to Thailand and that's why we've got the fundraiser to help raise funds for her to get there. Do you think New Zealand's view of pageants is changing? I'm not too sure if it's changing or I don't even know exactly what it was previously. I can only speak for myself and what it was that I saw. And all I can say is now, whether people are choosing to change it or not, we're here to change that, right? And we're here to say, hey, let's have a whole different light on this and let's represent it in a positive but in an all-encompassing way. And I think that's really cool because we don't want people to feel displaced or feel left out with what we're involved with these days with the new pageants that are being put to a fore. It's to say anybody can have a go and at the end of the day, seriously, anybody can be a winner. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's not about what you look like, the size, the image or anything. That is a wrap from 148, celebrating beauty, fabulousness and fashion. Tanika Alatini off to Thailand to compete in the Miss Beauty Fashion International pageant. Thank you for watching. You can get hold of us, Mary TV, on Facebook. Go to marytv.co.nz or send us a tweet. Until next time, take care of yourself and others. Bye-bye. Right, you happy? Yeah, it. good. Because you're very professional. <laughs> <laughs> what is that about? Why have you decided to be a part of a pageant like this? Well, this pageant is about celebrating diversity and celebrating all different. Darling, you just walked in front of a camera.